It's your boy, Superman 2000, coming from the fight here, baby. All right. We got action. We got action tonight. It's going to be UFC fight night. Now, Conor McGregor, he just posted something just now of himself talking about Artem Lovebo. Did I say that right? I don't think I did. Is it Lovebo Artem or Artem Lovabodo? You know who I'm talking. I, I butcher these names all the time. But Cub Swanson it seems fairly easy to pronounce, so I could pronounce that. So for this fight, I, I, I'm scrolling through because I'm, I'm trying to find that thing and play it for you on my phone. But I guess I got so many tweets I got to read. I don't want to even worry about that now. All right, word on the street is that I've been accused of needing a better camera. But you know what? Ah, the premise of my... Superman 2000 and the fight here. It's simple. It's a guy talking about fights, something he loves, giving solid information and details about the action from his fight here and his cell phone. That's how I roll. Now, if the, the Galaxy X8 happened to go for cheap or free or whatever, then call me in. Otherwise, I'm in the fight here with my cell phone, baby. All right, now, Gob Swanson, then again, I, I think I like this, this phone. It was free and it's, it will last me. Baby D moment, I'm sorry. I, ah. So, Gob Swanson, I went ahead and looked at his last couple wins. And, you know, I don't have an algorithm or anything like that. But I looked at Cub Swanson's last few wins. I looked at the opponent's last few wins. And I can say that Cub Swanson, most of his losses come by submission. So that that, that kind of tells me that there's, a, there's an issue right there with the grappling. He's more of a striker type guy. Uh, I mean, you can't do anything about something like that at this stage in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm pulling up his um, his his, 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 his all his fights here, every fight he's ever been in, and I, I'm running it down. And he's coming off three wins, okay? Three wins by decision, and the losses that he's had, the two losses before that, it was a submission, guillotine choke. Same thing. Next one was a submission, neck crank, and then the other wins were by decisions. And if you scroll on down some more, this guy, his other loss was also by an arm triangle choke. So that tells me that, hey, there is an issue with the grappling. Now he's won by submissions too, but the majority of his losses are by submissions. Like right now, the only even is a first loss in just in total combat for his first loss was by a submission rear neck choke. Okay, so I'm thinking is is an issue with the grappling right there. Now let's look at Conor McGregor's man. I'm gonna pronounce his name properly. I'll try to butcher it. Artem Lobov, Lobo. Okay, we'll keep the V silent. We'll, call, we'll fancy it up a bit. Kind of like that PBS show, Miss Bucket was our name, but she called, she pronounced it Bouquet, but we'll do the same thing with this. We'll just call it Lobo, okay? Those of you who don't watch PBS, it was, it was a, a British show. Now, his record of wins are just a bit spotty. But what I see here is that most of his losses come by decision. And he's had only, of his 27 fights, he's had 12 losses. One by knockout, two by submission, and nine by decision, and one by draw. And what does that, that tells me that basically, he has, this is how I analyze fights. That tells me that he has a good chin. And that tells me that it's going to come down to... Uh, Striking, 
moving in and out the pocket and a bit of wrestling. Now, what I also look at is the last time this guy fought. Last time he fought was in, well, oh, is this accurate here? No, he fought in November of 2016, and Cub Swanson also fought in December of 2016. So there's not going to be no ring rust issues. They're both equal. They're coming off almost a layover. That's an equal amount of time. But here is the catcher. Now, Cub Swanson's coming off three wins, three back-to-back -back wins, okay? Not only is he coming off three back-to-back -back wins by decision, he has also won previous fights by submission. So that tells me off the break that with his fight record and the fact that um, Artem Lobo has not won a lot of fights by submission, tell me, hey, there is not going to be, if it comes down to wrestling and grappling, Cub Swanson is going to have the advantage. And if it comes down to the striking, Cub Swanson is also going to have the advantage too, I believe. But it's going to come to a decision. I don't believe that Cub Swanson will be able to knock out knock Artem out because his chin is good. So here's how, after I did all that breakdown, this is my pick for that fight, okay? So my pick for that fight is going to be Cub Swanson by win. It's going to be by way of submission. It's going to come in the fourth round when both guys are in deep waters and the cardio is essential. And then that's when a lot of blows get exchanged and unit exchange. Each time you each time you swing at somebody and impact, you know you you, know, you, you, you might you, you, you hit the guy and the guy gets hit. The both of you, you're both losing energy. It's 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 an elastic collision. So you, you it's a, it's somewhere between an elastic and an inelastic collision. But you're losing energy because you're exerting force upon that person and they're getting the wind knocked out of them. So it's good. So both guys are gonna go in deep waters. That's how I got that going. But I got Cub Swanson for the win. That's my two cents from the fight chair. I'm using my regular PC camera because I have the, I have the data analytics up. My personal secret analysis sauce that I use to get the win number 57 in UFC fight picking. This time around, I'm hoping to continue that momentum and move toward that number one spot. All right, guys. Peace out. That's my two cents from the fight chair.